Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Long time no see, and my microphone is in a bad position because I never find this out properly. So I'll move it onto my desk, away from Murta's desk, and there's a plate and everything. Ah, crap. Ah, this is a bad start to a let's play that I have abandoned for so long because of financial troubles and many other hardships related to housing and you know, real life problems that you really don't care about. Uh, damn it. Having this on my desk is annoying. Right. Have a face me microphone. Keeps turning away. Right. <laughs> Crap everywhere. Uh, I think actually part of the reason why I moved my microphone off my desk at one point was so you wouldn't have to hear all the key pressing that I was doing. Hmm. The problem is that my microphone wouldn't be close enough to me for you to hear me properly. Anyway, since I've not played in so long, this has been a version update. This is something I've not done before on here. And I'm thinking that I want to remember what parts I actually have available to me. So, very basic parts. I could make a... A state Putnik satellite. Do I have anything to keep it alive? Very basic solar panels. All right, all right. We're making a state Putnik. Why not? All right. First thing we want: command pod. We need to build the thing that's going to get it there. I really should switch off the overlay for the X story since it's in the way of these tabs up here. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh. I want the top thing to be really small and a very simplistic little Tiji engine. You might be thinking, okay, what's the point of the Tiji engine? It's just a backup. It's not the main thing, and I don't even know what I'm talking about. Now then, I don't have any of those like nuclear power thingies, so. Alright, it's that small. Go on top. And I don't have a junior version of this, so yeah. Okay, let's put this here. And I normally don't keep recording when designing the ships because it takes a while usually. This time I figured I may as well. I've not done this in so long. Why not? Like that. That should be enough solar power for this thing not to run out. Okay. So now, if I... One of these ditty ones. See, it looks all wrong. I can't, like, fix that. But great, let's make it like this. Uh... Yeah, I want these long fuel tanks. And... These little ditty things. It's so nice to have struts. Prevent everything from wobbling. Now I can fix those together, like that. Uh... See, this isn't really a science mission, this is a launch a pod into space mission. <laughs> Why not? I want my Kerbal to be able to get out safely. <laughs> because. I could put a bunch of diddly little landing struts on it, I suppose. Alright, so I've got the main thing. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna need a way to, like, decouple my satellite when I'm up there. It's so gonna me a second to think about this because I'm really dumb. Yay, that would be cool if I would do that, but uh, hmm. 
I've not built anything in so long that everything feels foreign to me again. Do I want the the pod to be big or do I want it to just be standard sized? Ah, shit. Uh, come on. There we go. There. No. There. <laughs> Perfect. And now I want something sciencey. Mobile processing lab. Science Junior. An entry purchase in R and D. Wait, so that's listed there, but I can't. I, I don't get it. Uh, da. How heavy is this thing? Oh, it's really not that heavy at all. I want to be able to measure how hot it is up there. Uh do 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 Bada Bada Uh Ah being really stupid. I can put the battery on the inside. Right, uh... Do I want lights on it? Do I want to be able to see it easier when approaching it? I'll put one light on it. Uh, I'm pretty much making this heavy on one side, aren't I? Gonna need to add a battery to it at some point. Oh, I added a battery, but it was only a small one. I'm being so dumb. As usual. There, that can cover up that other battery. See, the thing is, this thing here is like a door. Unless, of course, I put the door thing on the other way around. Give me a second to take take a look at that. Right, now then. I want to see if I've made this right. Oh boy. That's dumb. Inoperable after transmitting. Okay. One of the science apples is to be judging you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep the data and then recover the vessel. <laughs> that's free science for us right there. Alright, let's check let's check the research and development thing. We got a probodyne for 90 science. Precision engineering, I want that. The electronics thing I could do with, but I don't need it right now. Wait. Oh, it's a barometer. These are ladders. Landing strut and a parachute. Those will be useful if we're going to go to Duna or something. We still haven't got enough tech to really get a safe mission. And by that I mean a safe mission to go there and back. Because that is our plan at some point. To get to Duna and then come back from Duna. So I'll be landing a probe there when I can make one. Oh, also there's a science archive. I believe that this was added in the last patch. So let's see if I... Can I sort by how much science was gained? I can. Most science was gained here. Sample from Mimbus service. Surface. Very high value. Tiny crystal like grains, very pretty, probably not edible. 
BBA report while in space near Duna. Yeah. A lot of situations reported. Uh, Moho, nothing on that. Nothing on Gilly. Got a bunch for the month. Three landed. Three biomes in the Midlands. Oh, three reports for Midlands. Uh, let's see. Minmus. Three reports of landings. Yeah, Duna. We've approached it, but we haven't, like, landed or anything. And Ike, we have nothing on. Right. I like that new menu. Let's go back to the assembly building and continue building our rocket. Make sure that we put shit on the other side. I want to, you know, make this look presentable. Ah, fudge. I think that battery's going to be stuck there. Can I, like, glitch through it and grab the battery? I might be able to. Shit. Come on. Oh, no, wrong way. Ah, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, there. Got it. Fucking naughty battery. Right. Put the battery over there. Probably annoying here in that click as I move the thing around. I apologize. Right. That's designed properly now. Probably gonna be cutting a lot of this out if I can be bothered. I want that there, and we want the stay put nick on the top. This is gonna be a very simple little thing. But it's got a module here, so we will actually be able to dock to it. By a module, what I really meant to say was a docking port. I could even add an extra docking port if I wished. Uh, let's see. I want something for a Kerbal to be able to grab onto if he flies out there. Want these to be facing in more directions. Yeah, that thing's there to repair them, why not? We don't have to do repairs on shit <laughs> just yet, but maybe in future versions we'll have to repair stuff. Now, I want to get a geosynchronous orbit People should know what that means, but if you don't, I'll explain it. For those of you that don't really know the... the terms that I'm using. Geosynchronous means that you would be at the, above the same point pretty much permanently with minor adjustments um, in orbit while flying around the planet. Or falling around it is actually the more accurate term. These engines might actually not be powerful enough. This is purely a concept right now. Now then. One. Actually, wait, now I want them to be the big ones. These things will eject with a little more force and will hold the boosters further away. Just in case the initial thrust of the engines isn't enough, we have these. Usually I like to not use too many struts because it looks bad, but... Because of the limitations of 
Unity and whatnot. We pretty much have to. Right. This looks like it will go somewhere. I'm not sure if it will get us into orbit, but it's going somewhere. So I want these to fire first, then these, and then this. Uh, let me just save that like that. Let me s just ah, ball sweat. I want the subassembly thing. I want to save this. I think that might have been stupid of me. Yeah, it was. I, I did it all wrong. <laughs> uh. Let's call this, I don't know, the P satellite one. And then let's call this the Huh. Why can't I add that? Interesting. We'll just name it like that. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm naming them like this, but I am. Also... Just in case. I wanted the extra SAS for extra torque. This might be too heavy to stand on its own, but we'll see. Uh, swaying slightly, but it's fine. And off it goes. Now I need to start turning over. I don't want to turn over too much though, because these engines are not that powerful. I don't want to lose too much vertical lift. Vertical thrust. When I get to about 20,000, I'll roll over to 90 degrees. Well, 45 degrees, rather. I got confused because I'm pointing 90 degrees. The equator. There's a thing in the water over there, I forgot what that was. It's been forever since I've done this that I'm actually forgetting what things are. I just remembered that I put these things in orbit. Did I say I was going to have these things meet up with each other? I mean, I have a, the observations lab. But that's... That, I call that an observations lab, but it's really not ha not in a geosynchronous orbit, so... What could it possibly be observing? I don't even understand my own stuff. Yep. Perfect. Now I just need to accelerate to our two million meters mark. I'm pointing down slightly because I don't want to have to like recircularize the orbit all that much. I don't want to have to make too many corrections when I get there. So again, point in the direction of the little circle. And then burn. Facing very slightly down to bring the apoapsis closer to us. To circularize it. See, pointing down, apoapsis closer to you. Pointing up, apoapsis would be going, you know, the other way. Eepy deepy. Alright. Alright, let's do that. See, it's not perfect. 
we're actually still going faster than the orbit. However, that's actually partially what I want. I actually want us to be above the uh, Kerbal Space Center, so I want... Ah, fuck! <laughs> I would know that was way too much. Right, now let me increase the size of our orbit to about 2,000... 2.1 million. There. If we're still going too fast, which we are, then we need to go even higher up. We're never going to get it perfect, I'll tell you that much. There. And we're still going very slightly too fast. <sighs> it's definitely better, though. <laughs> 